Hi, my name is Brie Van Scotter and I am host of Wilderness to Table. So growing up, I was not a hunter. In fact, my parents, especially my mom, was very animal rights activist and so I kind of grew up with that mentality. The love of outdoors actually eventually led me to want to hunt because I love being outside so much. So I got a bow, which I thought was going to be a hobby. The first time I flung that arrow, I was just hooked. The chef in me was like, it was like light bulb moment. Like, why am I not hunting for my food? I praise farmers and actively seek out farmers who grow organic produce. But why am I not actually harvesting my own organic non-GMO protein? I'll never forget my first bow hunt. It was so hot, it was on opening day here in Georgia, and it was blistering hot, I was sweating so much, and we waited probably like four hours for the does and the bucks to start finally arriving in this little alfalfa field that I was hunting in. And I remember there, I was going after a doe because that was, it was becoming, sun was setting, it was time, and I was like, okay. I stood up quietly and I'm, I, ba I draw back and I shoot and like I just the, it my arrow like just went under her so I I, I missed her probably by, by like six inches um, so my first hunt was not successful but you know what I learned the most from that hunt I learned to be better at you know my dot placement on my, on archery and so many things about hunting from that first hunt. So it was, I will, I will never forget that one. I have been the only female in kitchens for so long, so I definitely know what it's like to be in a male-dominated industry, and hunting does have that stigma of being a male-dominated industry. I first got into hunting because of archery, and then going somewhere and getting archery equipment, like the right re release and stuff for me, like going by myself was definitely really intimidating because you're talking to a guy and they kind of like, why are you here? What are you doing? Um, you know, why aren't you here with your husband? It's a question I get asked a lot <laughs> when I buy ammo. Is this the ammo your husband wants? I'm like, no, no, no. This is the ammo that I want. <laughs> so you just kind of have to toughen up and don't be afraid. And if you have any questions, turn to a fellow female hunter. You can email me, anything. I'm all for supporting women getting out into the outdoors. Start with archery, just shoot some targets and see how amazing that feels and how much fun it is. Cooking was my first passion and hunting is my second passion. But I hunt to cook and I cook to hunt. So now I can't see myself just being a cook anymore. I need to be a hunter in order to be a better cook. So Wilderness to Table originally started as my, my blog recipe site. When I got into hunting, I, the chef in me definitely wanted to prepare my harvest. So I started my website because I was noticing when I was researching recipes for wild game that there was a lack of wild game recipes, like really good ones. I, I can grill my backstrap and I can wrap it in bacon. But what other things are people doing besides that? I can do a venison heavy dish with like venison risotto with, you know, venison bone broth, then I have the rice, and then like I'll take a very tender piece of the meat and then wrap it in the call fat and sear it and then serve that along with um, the venison risotto. There is something really beautiful about hunting some of the times I go out hunting and I don't even harvest an animal, but being out there, seeing nature, seeing the sunrise, seeing the sunset, it's all a part of hunting. There's so much more to hunting and that's why I'm passionate about it. So any person who is like, loves to go hiking might really love hunting because it's actually really beautiful and being in with nature.